Oh, so today we are going to replace the head unit, the radio for a Toyota Corolla 2019 SE to a touchscreen um, 9 inch radio with um, Apple uh, CarPlay and uh, um, mirror and things like that. You know, something, something good. The screen is very small, as you guys can see, so the new one is going to be pretty much cover the whole thing. Again, this is a replacement of the radio for a Toyota Corolla 2019 SE. Okay, so to start the, re the replacement, we already got all the parts out. Everything is here. Please check the unbox video. As for the shows, everything here. We're gonna go a little bit more details in this video, replacing the radio. Um, for this job, what we need to do is, this needs to come out, the entire thing, and it's only just kind of pull at it from there, and it comes out, as you can see. But we need to remove this part. To remove this, we need to remove this for the removing that we need to remove this this and this and this so we can actually take that out because it has connections in there but i'll show you a little by little once i'm going through the process i show you guys what i do okay so to remove this area you're gonna have to push this down you should have to put it down and then you can unscrew this the knob comes up. All right, so this comes up. You need to remove this. Um, just grab a tool. I shoot from here and bottom. There we go. And it comes out. So if you guys can see, it has little legs in here that goes inside so that's why you cannot pull it from this side you have to pull it from the back to remove those safety locks and then it comes out so then you have this space is free for, and then actually you need to remove the knob so you can remove this from here same thing uh, for this part right here the only thing you have to do is lift it I don't even need to do you as a prime tool just my fingers you know there we go. There we go. And it comes out. I'm going to pull the handbrake up. Now there's connections in the other side. Sorry. There's connections in there that need to remove. Typical connections. Just pull the lock and it comes out. So we're going to do that. Um, So here, we can remove this by pulling this out down. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I uh, guys get the idea. I'm, I'll get with you guys in a minute. So now you can remove this part and this part. So how you remove this part is kind of the same thing. Just prime it up. Here we go, from here. Boom, done, out. Okay, how easy it was now. You do need to move this so you can actually get this out. So you move that <coughs> the shift with the key, you kind of shift it down and then you can actually remove this part and then it free out this thing where you can actually remove. But I don't really think we need to remove this part. The only thing we need to do is once we get this out, see, we already got this space free for this thing to come up because that's why I was locking it, okay? So then that, and then we have a couple of screws. So uh, let me get with my two hands and I'll get back with you. All right, so just pull this out by just kind of pulling. Then we have to get this out by just pressing right here. There we go. Same thing on the other side. We have one that we just need to press it. You guys remove. I don't want to get this to drop, so I'm going to do that in a second. I was telling you guys about this. So, how you, without turning on the vehicle, how you move this so that you have this thing in here. 
so you have to prop this open and there's a little thing that you can press in there once you press it it will release it so you can actually do it without turning your car on so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna remove those things okay okay so disconnector right here the only thing you need to do is sorry focus is press this one right here and it comes down and then you pull it out that removes that unit so that little thing is the one that goes in here goes in here and then you remove it so now what you need to do is press this right here press it as you guys see you guys can actually press and it goes down and then you can actually remove the stick shift that will allow you to remove this part out of there you need i need the two hands but that will allow me to remove this part out right. and then what we need to do is as you guys can see this two there i believe is either 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter but i think i believe they're 10 remove those 10 millimeter and the head unit comes out i'll show you guys in a second okay so i've removed these two things two connectors which just goes in here that will remove that i've removed the, this cover out of here this area right here that will allow me to free that out and then i was able to remove that part right there so it exposes this whole thing all right now that i got all that exposed i'm gonna remove the uh 10 millimeters okay i removed the screws which they are 10 millimeters so the head unit should come up so that's just the plate in there that's in one side too a little bit tough of one hand but okay so the only thing that i need to do is uh, remove those connections and the head unit should be out So the unit is out. Those are the connectors right there. Sorry for the focus. It's, it's not that sunny, but it keeps losing focus. So that is out. All right. And so that's what the new unit is going to go. Just take a look. So that's the unit out. So put the other one in the back. So that's the new one. That's the Toyota one. Seems to be a little bigger. But you see the brackets it fits in there. So those brackets need to be removed. Needs to be put in the old and new one. Uh, and then all the connections. Uh, those adapters are the ones that they go in here. All those connections right here goes in here. Translate into this. They will go into that device with all these other connections that goes here right all these other connections so um i'm gonna go ahead and start removing the bracket put the bracket into the new one uh, grab those connectors and put them in the inside of the vehicle and then start attaching it to there i'll give you uh be right back let me put it all together and i'll be right back Okay, so for the bracket, um, I'm with the bracket, let me show you, right, so, the bracket goes like that, right, and it doesn't move, it has a little bumps in there, they kind of align to the holes and it doesn't move, it doesn't work that way on this one, so what I did is trying to match this holes, the holes right here, so, to the ones right here. And then the other one right here and that's how i apply it we'll see how it fits so far this is the best way that i ended up finding uh to put the plate according to the radio okay so now that oh, the plates on the radios what we're gonna do is kind of match these connectors to the ones that came with the radio you, you kind of have this already marked in some of the cables and things like that but 
The only thing we need to do is just match it, okay? Um, I'll give you guys uh, a be right back once I match everything. Okay, so I match everything. Uh, this one is for the warning seat belts. This is for the parking lines. So this is uh, what it is. This connector right here is this one right here. So that, I believe that goes back to the radio, but we'll figure it out in a minute. But everything is kind of, they match perfectly. So as you see them, as you see them, they go in it, size and everything. Um, there is one on the, the radio, this one, the, it didn't connect to anything. So um, I don't know exactly what that one is. I'm trying to figure it out. We have the antenna and the audio and video auxiliary to cam and, and, and all those other things. Because the radio has more features than well, the, the stock, but that's what it is. So this kind of, this diagram and where you can actually see it. Uh, it tells you back, one dim, two dim, sorry, uh, the connections, blah, 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 yeah, all that. So I'm gonna bring the radio, start connecting, and uh, see what I got. Okay, so we had all the cables in here. This is your Wi-Fi, all right? So we got all these connections in here. Uh, we have this adapter. This is this is the one that goes in here. All right. There we go. Uh, this is the one that connects to a USB. It's this one right here. Uh, we have a mic. The uh, I need to see where I'm I'm gonna put it. All right. And we have the GPS. So this, this is the GPS. So that needs to be somewhere in there. I wanna see if we can actually go ahead and put them in here. Uh, that way it's not as noticeable. Or maybe, I don't know if I have a space inside of this thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up and take a look. But that's, that's the GPS. And uh, that connection right there goes here but that gps is is up to you guys you have discretion where you want to put it you guys can put it down there in the bottom right there on the top right there I can put it what i mentioned it right here but me personally i want to see if i can actually open this thing in and see if i can put it underneath of that if not um i'll feed it up but yeah, like i said that's everybody's discretion um this is for you can see in here it has some little bit of instructions in there. Auxiliary video in. Camera. Auxiliary in. Auxiliary in. So you have two videos, two, uh, one, two videos, one sound. This is also for the same thing. That's so you can connect to other stuff. Um, not the stuff that comes in the radio is going to be connected. This is another one that goes in directly to the radio. Uh, but um, I'm going to connect some of that stuff and see what I have used for I also have a sound system in here uh, I have a 12 inch kicker in the back that I need to I got the cables that ran in before so I have somewhere in there the cables that I need to connect it to so they can actually connect directly to the radio so let me figure that out and I come back and show you guys okay so like I mentioned before I have all the connections already set. This is for the USB, which goes right here. The other one is this one right here. That one then there is for an Android play. So I just have to connect everything. I already connect everything and everything was working fine. The only thing that I did not connect was the ground. Now I didn't mention to you guys that I have an amplifier in here. So this is the antenna for the amplifier. That's connected in there to the blue one in here. That's my amplifier. Those are my the ones for my amp going in. It was connected to this one. I already test everything. The sound and, and everything is working. So the only thing that I had I did do, excuse me, was the I placed everything in just to test it and I put the bracket in. And the radio was actually sticking out. So I ended up going back to the 
place the brackets and eat the brackets a little bit so I can get them close. So hopefully this last one is gonna uh, it's gonna be the last one and it's gonna be all set. So right now what I want to do is just make sure to connect all of them right there into the radio in the back right here. So this is your Wi-Fi. This is an HDMI, which I'm not using it, GPS, and my the other connections. This is the main connection right here. So, so you guys know what I ended up doing uh, was I got my uh, GPS and my mic in here. So here's the cable with the mic, and here's the cable with the GPS. All right. So I ran it all the way around, going down and the way across so that's why I have it so I'm gonna put all this thing together and uh, show you uh, hopefully this time the bracket fits uh, bye. okay so everything is connected uh, the only one I'm missing is the mic uh, because I, it's not that long I have to put it in when I'm kind of pushed the radio in but this is where the mic goes in right there uh, everything is connected all the cables are connected. All the, the GPS is connected. Wi-Fi antenna is there. All the connections. Uh, it's my song woofer. So, like I said, I tested before and it was working. It was just sticking out a little bit. Um, from this point forward, it should work with no problem. So, I'm going to put it in. Put the screws with the bracket in there. And see if it fits now. Okay, so I mounted, tested, that looks okay. Um, now what we need to do is just put all the pieces together and then uh, test it. I know I tested before it was working, but we're gonna do our last test once I put everything together, okay? All right, so the device is already installed. Uh, just a quick recap, what I did is I run the GPS all the way up underneath and I put it in there. The mic is already there as well. So I run it the same way. Then goes underneath that edge because I'm through right here. So um, I connect my Zoom buffer that I have in the back and everything seems to be looking good. Uh, there's an auxiliary USB in here that I've thrown it through there. There's another one right here, and this is the um, Android CarPlay. So this is turning it on. You can see it shows out the logo of Toyota. Yeah, I did a little bit of consume configuration in there. Just a little bit, just uh, while I was trying to see, it tells me that the door is open. Um, that on the main screen. Falling down. Um, so the AC, you switch the AC, it shows you on the bottom the controls. So also the door, uh, as you, you saw, the door is in there. Uh, the steering wheel, if I hit this one, it's going to mute it. Okay, so, it's a pretty nice radio, pretty neat. Now, there's a lot of things that I need to do to play with it, to, to know the entire functionality of it. See, it's actually pretty good. It shows everything, all the, everything that you select in there. So, um, pretty nice functionality. You know, it has your, your time, your music, your navigation system. That's what the GPS need. The antenna, the antenna once again, the antenna that are connected up here. That's the antenna. As a GPS. Uh, here, you have screens applications that you can actually use you can actually hold and move applications over you know things like that it's actually pretty neat you just have to figure out how to use it so that's the 
Apple CarPlay is wireless CarPlay. Um, basically, this uh, this one right here is the wireless CarPlay. The, uh, I didn't connect to my phone. Uh, they connected. This is my daughter's car connected to her car, uh, to her phone, and it, it works like a regular CarPlay. So should be good. But that's what it is, and it has a bunch of other stuff that you can actually utilize. Uh, you know, a camera in the front. This is kind of how it works. There's two camera in the back, so the camera works fine, no problem. Now it, it does have those extra lines when you turn and it moves, but I actually turn it off because my daughter didn't like that. Uh, it connects to Wi-Fi as well if you want it. So if you go here in the settings, see the Wi-Fi option. of the Wi-Fi so that's how kind of how you do an update of the the vehicle uh, firmware and things like that I've already connected to the network before so but uh, that's the installation and it looks pretty good I like it my daughter she's really happy about it uh, we already tested it with a phone call and everything and then uh, mic and speakers and everything so it's pretty good so uh, it's nice. Yeah, I like it. I can't believe that Sound. you would have believed it. Calling your reasons. Sounds awesome. So, there you go, guys.